Daddy, what are you talking about? Money. Give them a tip to save money. Never waste it on something that you don't need. We have some very wealthy friends, and I have been very, very fortunate to learn many financial lessons from them. And they're lessons that I actually think might surprise you. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. Today we are talking about the things that I have learned from my wealthy friends, and I wanted to share them with you. And seriously, you'll be surprised at some of the things that I'm about to tell you. So the first thing that I actually learned from my wealthy friends is you should never pay full price for anything. My wealthy friends only purchase things in two ways. They buy it on sale or they buy it secondhand. And I am absolutely shocked when I see people that that make these huge six-figure incomes buying things off Facebook Marketplace or eBay or Poshmark or whatever. And I'll admit, I actually do it too. I will only buy clothes off Poshmark or on sale. And for like Melina's birthday, I've bought several of the things that we're gonna give her on eBay. Not even joking. The second thing that my wealthy friends do is they resell what they're not using. So for us, there are some local Facebook groups where you can post your items for sale and they will actually be able to you know, sell it to somebody locally or they will post stuff on eBay or Poshmark and everything they have, they resell. If they're not using it, they don't donate it they resell it, but they get lots of money back for brand name items sold at maybe like 50 or 30%. Over time, they get thousands of dollars back. And they even sell them in specific Facebook groups. So one of the people I know, her daughter has outgrown American Girl doll. So she actually goes onto an American Girl doll site and is clearing out her American Girl doll stash on this site and she doesn't sell the things for a super high price like a hundred dollar item she might sell for 25 dollars but it sells almost instantaneously and that's 25 dollars she got back after years of her daughter playing with the item the third thing that i've learned from my wealthy friends is not going to shock most of you it's never carry debt my wealthy friends the only debt that they carry is a house some of my friends, I will tell you, do use credit cards, but they pay them off in full every month. Now, while credit cards are not the way I want to live, it's not a horrible thing if you are carrying a credit card. It's risky in my world, but for them, they're fiscally responsible. I'm not necessarily the most fiscally responsible. I am now, but I wasn't always. So while they do carry credit cards, they never carry balances on them and they never pay any interest. Because if they had to pay interest, they'd just pay cash for it. The fourth thing I've learned from my wealthy friends is they always put money towards their financial goals before they do anything else. If they plan on saving $3,000 every month to put into an investment portfolio, they put that $3,000 is the first thing they put away every month. It comes before groceries, it comes before clothes, it comes before household items, it comes before the kid's school payment. Not even joking, they save that money first. And by doing that, they've committed to the amount of money they're putting away every month. And then they make their budgets based on what's left over. And they never, ever, overcommit their money. Another thing that my wealthy friends do, and this one I found kind of surprising, pre-made meals that you just pop in the oven from the grocery store are frequently cheaper than making it from scratch. I actually did the math on this one, and by the time you spend the money on the 15 ingredients that you need to buy to make the item, it was actually cheaper to buy the $20, just pop it in the oven item and it's way cheaper than eating out all the time well we already knew that so i'm interested to know do you have any people in your life that seem to be doing really well financially are there any tricks of the trade that you've adopted from your your friends who are doing really well financially i'd love to hear them down in the comments below so i'll see you in the next one see ya we're out